We just arrived here in Fortaleza, Fortaleza in Brazil after a seven hour flight. And I basically found out that I needed to drive another hour. I thought we had people that were gonna drive us, but instead they decided that, hey, no, Patrick, just take the truck and drive an hour through Brazil and not have any idea where you're going or what you're doing. And you'll figure it out, right? You'll figure it out. So as soon as I talked about the police, we got pulled over, literally. The moment that I talked about it, I got pulled over with the police here. Welcome to Brazil. So we made it through the night last night. We arrived here in Kambuku, this little Busada. Busada is like a hotel in Brazil. And uh, spent the night last night, got in late around three o'clock. Now we're gonna get ready to head another four hours north to the next spot that we're staying at. Bring it in. Bring it in. Uh, oh. Excited, Andre? Oh yeah. I'm excited. I wanna see uh, Patrick another driving. Driving? I would be worried about your driving too. Oh, no, he's good. worried about your driving. It's four-wheel drive. We're off to I need to be charismatic. I need to be boxed. I'm always charismatic. But you like whenever I put the camera, you don't you just freeze up. Because I'm trying to play it really cool, you know. Oh. <laughs> Are you excited, Carolina? What? What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> very unique. I mean, oh, it's like its own flavor. It's, it's like trying like to explain a, the taste of Coke. The taste of it's kind of like a 7-Up. No, well, don't drink, don't drink your <laughs> germs all over my... Germs? It's kind of a little bit almost cherry tasting. No, it does have like a cherry, but it's not though. It's the guarana. Yeah. I mean, I don't How, well, What's guarana that tastes like? I don't know. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing! Yeah, get your vlog on. I'm on my third vlog and I haven't finished editing the first one. You got any tips for people out there for vlogs? I mean, I'm trying to ask you, what's the tip? You just gotta film everything, I'm honestly. I'm trying to finish my first Best one, thing for like vlogging 15 minutes. is to film everything. 15 minutes, is that too long? Yeah, it's way too long. Nice little lunch and now we're gonna head. It's kind of Where's it called? Like, Paia? Uh, Pia? Praia. Praia. We're heading to Praia. Praia, baby. Yeah. First morning, we're here at the Pusada. Just had some breakfast, getting the day ready. Fox is out here doing his thing, whatever he's doing. Do my but doing a little, give you a little tour of the Pusada real quickly here. We got the uh, little eco-friendly area, the sand, the beach area, and then over here, we got the little pool. Yeah, check out these rooms. The rooms are pretty cool as well. Outdoorsy shower area. This is the room here. Just coming out here and showering under the stars at night. It's beautiful. It's amazing to stand here butt naked, just in the shower, get my shower on, come over here, just underneath the stars. It's not bad. Yeah, life is 10% uh, luck and 90% how you react to it. <laughs> That's like an Eminem. Yeah. That's like an Eminem. Uh... Sweetie, I like Ooh. that. Great. He's a two-time world champion. Two-time world champion when I first met him. Three-time world, right? Three world champion. When I first met Carlos, he was a little boy, 15 years old, knew nothing about the world, and now he's traveled everywhere. He's seen everything, done everything. This is not a boy that looks happy. The first time I came to Brazil was about five years ago. Carlos speaks no English. Well, he speaks more English now, but when I first met him, no English. So I basically spent like a week just traveling around Brazil, not talking to anybody. It was really fun and interesting. This morning, waking up, we're heading to get some acai, get some supplies, and then we're heading out to the middle of nowhere to a magical delta area magical delta area it's actually gonna be a bit of a mission because we're gonna have to go over this crazy river do a little four-wheel driving but luckily for me and for fox 
I'm actually a very, very good driver. Don't you worry, Fox. I'm worried, I always worry. I'm gonna handle it. I got this. Carolina, it's all gonna be good. Don't worry. It's, it's a, a berry from oh the banks of the Amazon rainforest. Similar, it looks a bit like a blueberry, but it's a- uh, This science is just ridiculous. Yeah, it's actually harvested right from the banks and they have to build factories <laughs> right on the banks of the Amazon rainforest. I feel like we're all set up Maybe. <laughs> some cornflakes on there. We got some fruit loopy things. We got some peanut. We got all kinds of stuff. Yeah. That's an awesome evil. It's a solid pound. Santa's hot, man. I got no sandals on. We're in this little town called Jerry or Quara, Jerry Quara. We got invited to a dinner, sunset, little sunset dinner, some drinks. We're literally in the middle of nowhere. This is like the middle of nowhere Brazil. There's nothing for miles and miles except for sand dunes, beaches, and buggies. Champions and non world champions yeah, and BMs yeah. and little yeah. babies. Salud, Salud, baby. Salud, baby. Yeah, We're just in a sand dune. There's sand everywhere. Jerry Cocada. Jerry Cocada. That's how they say it. Jerry! Jerry! So we're heading back to Fortaleza today. We've been down here at the beach. The boogie's really loud right now. We've been down here at the beach. We had to air down the tires because we were driving around the beach. So we gotta now put the air back in the tires because we're gonna be driving back on normally kind of paved roads. So we'll be on the roads again. The journey continues. The journey continues. Continues. 